Well, if you hear the Adhan Deen, you cannot say, I forgot, because the game can wait. Prayer cannot wait, does not wait. It has a fixed time. In Surah An-Nisa, chapter number four, the Almighty Allah says, إن الصلاة كانت على المؤمنين كتابا موقوتا. So the prayer has been ordained upon the believers to be offered during fixed times. And when the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, was asked about what is the best deed ever, he said, الصلاة على أول وقتها to pray at the earliest part of the time of any prayer. So when you hear the adhan for dhuhr. Pause your game, Habibi. Put it aside and pray the Sunnah. And then pray the Fard. Then pray the Sunnah after Khitam al Salah. MashaAllah, I have plenty of time to play your game. Okay? So if you say, I forgot. Why? Because I said, I will pray later. I still have some time. And then I got sucked in, in the game. And oops, it's the Adhan for Asr. Am I blameworthy? Yes, indeed, you're blameworthy. Because that is called negligence not forgetfulness. May Allah guide us to what is best. I want to say something to you, my dear viewers, before we take another call. A Muslim who prays just because the prayer is fard and obligatory on him is missing a lot. And I mean that the prayer is a source of joy and delight. Yes, Alhamdulillah, when I pray, I just love it. I feel like it's a big relief. It's a peace of mind. It is time to take a break. It is time to recharge my heart. It is time to remit those bunch of sins which I've committed before. It's time to make dua in my sujood. When people say, Shaykh, my daughter is sick, could you make dua for her? I choose the sujood in the prayer to make dua for her, for him, for them, or for anyone, or for myself. Because this is the nearest you can get to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The closest, and when you're the closest, ask whatever you want. As long as it is lawful, then Allah will grant you whatever you ask for. So, my dear brothers and sisters, the youth, the youth, Whenever it is a prayer time, wallahi, it is better than any game, better than the movie that you're watching. I'm not talking about only in the hereafter. I'm talking about your mood. I'm talking about your spirit. I'm talking about uplifting your spirit. I'm talking about the joy and the light which you will experience, the light that will cover your face because of the prayer. Versus, imagine, imagine when Allah is saying, when He ordered us to say Hayya ala salah, then He said Hayya ala al falah. What is falah? Falah means success. Success in the akhirah only to enter a jannah now. Not only in akhirah, in the dunya as well. So, whenever you're studying for your final exam, it is a prayer time. You break, you make wudu and offer the prayer. Laraf complexes, problems, you are not able to comprehend. You wanted to call your professor, you wanted to call a friend, you search online, and you feel like, you know, it's a deadlock. What is going on? Why can't I understand it? I just offer my prayer, Bismillah. Oh, <laughs> that's easy. It is easy, you know why? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to say, Allahumma la sahla illa ma ja'altahu sahla, wa anta taj'alu al-hazna in shi'ta sahla. There is no ease, and there is nothing that is easy, except if you make it easy. So when I pray and I say, oh Allah, make it easy for me, khalas, that's it, it's easy. So joy, delight, peace of mind, tranquility, success. Drop the game. It's not going to fly. It's not going to go away. It is sitting, waiting for you. But the prayer is not waiting for you.